Dream storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, last Friday night, multiple devastating tornadoes touched down in the southeast, and yet another example of extreme weather. But is there any connection to climate change? Let's discuss. I want to start with this graph right here, and this is the trend in tornado number. And just looking at this with the naked eye, yeah, it does look like we've seen an increase since 1950, but looks can be deceiving. This trend is likely due to better observations, so more people seeing tornadoes than we used to see them, and not likely related to climate change. But here's one trend we think is related to climate change. We've seen an increase in the red here of tornadoes in the southeast U.S., and a decrease in the traditional tornado alley in the Plain State. So let's talk about why. Now we all know it's been drying out in the deep southwest and that's partly at least because it's hotter and there's more evaporation. Well that dry air has been intruding further and further to the east. This line right here called the 100th meridian has moved 140 miles in just the past 40 years or so. So that collision zone between where the dry air hits the humid air that ignites these supercell thunderstorms and tornadoes has pushed further and further towards the east, pushing those tornadoes into the southeast. One more thing that's important for us is the Gulf of Mexico is warming twice as fast as the average of the globe, and so that's adding more energy to these supercell thunderstorms and to these tornadoes. So what does that mean for the future? Well, it just so happens that a paper came out just about two months ago, and they talk about the future of supercells and possibly tornadoes. What they say is supercells will be more frequent and intense in future climates. They also say supercells projected to be more numerous in the eastern United States and continuing to decrease in the Great Plains. So there is a connection between climate change and tornadoes, but it's not exactly what you might expect. We're not seeing more tornadoes, and tornadoes aren't necessarily necessarily becoming more intense. That is this week's Climate Classroom. For more Climate Classroom, go to WFLA.com. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.